Hello. Today we are going to learn MDI M comma data instruction of 8085 microprocessor. Now what is M over here? Okay, M is a memory whose address is specified in HL register there. Now what do we mean by that? For that, let's consider the content of H register, let's say 22H, and content of L register is 50H. Okay, so the content of HL pair will become 2250H. Now, this 2250H will be an address of memory. Address of memory now this memory ranges from 0 0 0 0 h up to f f f f h this is the highest possible memory address that we can provide and somewhere in between this range we get 2250 h so 2250 h is actually a memory so we can see this as a memory Okay, which will have the highest value 0, 0, 0, 0, F, and the last value as F, 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 H. And somewhere in between that, there will be 2250H address. And on this 2250H address, we need to transfer this data. Okay, so MBIM comma data simply means it will transfer that 8 bit data in that memory okay so let's try to understand format of it so what will happen data will get copied inside the content of content of excel now what do we mean by that suppose instruction is mvi m comma 35 h mvi m comma 35 h so this 35 data will get transferred inside this memory but this memory is denoted by content of content of HL. Okay. Now we will see detail example of it to understand it more clearly. Now let's talk about addressing mode. Now addressing mode of every instruction depends on its operand. Now we can see over here operand is data M V I M comma data. And whenever data is there in operand, its addressing mode becomes immediate addressing mode. This immediate data get copied inside the register. That's why addressing mode is immediate addressing mode. Now group. Since we are transferring data or information, that's why this instruction belongs to data transfer group. Now how many byte instruction it is? It is two byte instruction. Now how we can find it? See this instruction will be something like this: MVI AM comma, and data will be any two digit number. Let's say 25H. This data can be any number between 00H up to FFH. Okay, so this is the range of data. Now, this MVIM will take first byte of the instruction, and this 25H will take second byte of the instruction. Okay, that's why this instruction is of two byte. Simply, you can remember in this way: if two digit number is given in the instruction then it is a two byte instruction this is the simple way to remember how many byte instruction it is in particular instruction of 8085 if you see two digit number then it is a two byte instruction okay now how many flags this instruction will affect okay flags are getting affected only because of arithmetic and logical operations since we are just transferring data we are not processing data that's why no flags are affected because of this instruction this instruction belongs to data transfer group and none of the data transfer group instructions affects the flag let's take the example suppose instruction is written m p r m comma phi a h now this is hexadecimal data this h indicates that this phi a is hexadecimal number now before execution what we need to check before execution, we should check what is value of H register and value of L register. Therefore, value of HL pair. Let's say value of H is 20H 
L is also 20H. That's why HL will be having 2020H. Now this 2020H will be treated as memory address. Okay. So what we will see on this 2020H memory address, what is data? Let's say data is 33H. Okay. Then because of this instruction, what will happen? This new data for A will get copied inside the memory. So memory means it will take the place of 33. So after the execution of this instruction, 2020H content will change and it will become 5AH. Whereas the content of H will remain same, content of L will remain same. Therefore, content of HL well will remain same. Content of H will remain 20H, content of L will remain 20H. Therefore, content of HL will remain 2020H. Only change that we will see is that data is getting copied inside the memory whose address is stored in HL register. Let's take one more example to understand it clearly. Again, instruction is MPI M comma. Now let's say lowest possible data is 0, 0, H. We want to make memory 0. Then what will happen? This 0 will get transferred inside the memory. Now, to understand this, we should check before execution what was there in H register. So we will check content of H register content of L register. Say let's say it is 20, 22 H. Therefore content of HL pair will become 20, 22 H. And on this 20, 22 H address, we are interested what data was there before execution of this instruction. Suppose data was 33 H. So what will happen? This 00, 0 will go to this 33 and that's why the content of 2022H memory location will become 00H now whereas content of H will remain unchanged which is 20H content of L will also remain unchanged which is 22H therefore content of HL register pair will also remain same which is 2022H now here are Two practice problems that you can solve and write answers in comment. Let's say that before execution, content of H register was 20H, content of L was 50H. Therefore, on 2050H, some random data 24H was there, and we executed instruction MBI M, comma 32H. So, what will be the new value of H, L, and that particular memory that you can write in comment? Now, over here, another example says that content of H is 30H, content of L is 60H. Therefore, on 3060H memory address, data was 48H. Now, after execution of MPI M, 79H, what will be the new content of H? What will be the new content of L? Whether memory will change and the content of that memory will change. Solve this problem and give you an answer in comments. Thank you everyone.